typhoid crisis is causing strain across Tennessee, and overdose relief lies in a nasal spray. Narcan, or naloxone doses, being administered by the thousands, a large chunk coming right from the state. Really, with the naloxone distribution, we're taking that head on, and we are preventing an untold number of deaths. The program splits up the state regionally with regional overdose prevention specialists, or ROPES, training local law enforcement, first responders, and more, distributing naloxone where needed. And the need for naloxone is certainly rising in Tennessee. Through October 2017 through February of this year, through that state program, the state issued 35,000 allotments of Narcan, 14,000 of which going to law enforcement. Our biggest target for distribution is first responders, which are your law enforcement, your EMTs, your nurses, those kind of places. We're involved in that recovery community long enough to see that, you know, people are dying and that's the main thing. The Narcan in this program comes mostly through a state grant as part of a federal grant. But Narcan is not cheap and larger departments must buy some on their own. Nashville Fire, for instance, spending $142,000 on Narcan in the 2017-2018 fiscal year. A steady increase in both price and opioid overdose patients through the years. Last year, nearly 1,800 patients in Nashville administered. Nearly 1,000 administrations in Montgomery County. Murfreesboro Police seeing a 60% increase through mid-March this year. In the short period of time between you know, January and now we're in the middle of March, we've used it 15 times. Those are pretty alarming numbers if you look at the upswing. Alarming numbers with an alarming price tag. It's $75 for a unit of Narcan. If you were I to wa walk into a pharmacy, it would be even more than that. It's not cheap. It's not cheap. And we know that it is a, a life-saving uh, medication. It's the only reversal for opioid overdose. Which makes the federal and state grants all the more important and the ropes training a necessity with their work contributing to 2,000 lives saved and counting. Sometimes people need that extra chance and when somebody's having an overdose that could be potentially fatal, um, it, it's nice to give them another chance. In Nashville, Adam Snyder, News 2.